Personal log. Day one. This is Commander Hudson Brax. I was reassigned to the forest planet of Kepler 62E, but <laughs> I'm definitely on the wrong planet. It appears that my cryotransport pod has malfunctioned or was damaged in transit. My communication array was also damaged, and I'm unable to use a distress beacon. I plan to activate my cerebral enhancement and retinal apparatus, a device that I've always avoided using. <laughs> Something about it being tethered to my brain. Doesn't seem right. CERA activated. Working. Planet readings online. Navigation online. System online. Select preferred interface. Female. Female selected. Preferences saved. Sir? Yes, Commander? What do you know about the Gorvada virus? Gorvada virus, strain 61749. Patient zero was found in Madrid, Spain, 2341, following the outbreak there that started the global epidemic. Yeah, I know all that, but what do you know about the enzyme used to slow the virus? Enzyme A54R, discovered by Dr. Reginald Elma of the United Kingdom. The enzyme is present in desert plant life in several arid regions on Earth. Correct, and we have an abundance of that kind of plant life here on Talisada F, don't we? Sarah, can you scan for enzyme A54R in these plants? Affirmative, Commander. Well, then let's get started, shall we? Commander, this request will cause a delay in reaching the destination and a drain on energy, water, and food. Yeah, I understand that. It is illogical to use resources in this manner. Override. Command code Tango 79 Alpha 1 and continue with original request. Override accepted. Activate scanner. Terrain scanner activated. Working. Host levels online. Environmental calculator online.
Commander, you must navigate a canyon in 100 meters. The change in course will cause a delay of 2.356 hours. That's fine. How about some music to walk to? Selecting music. Good choice. Personal one. Day two. The CERA unit appears to be undamaged and has identified this planet as Tau Ceti F. I find myself enjoying the companionship of this virtual being. It's a helpful navigator and excellent scanner. Long range scans detected an old outpost to the north of my position, and estimates put me there in around 23 days on foot. Commander, readings indicate you are fatigued. Do you need to rest a moment? I'll rest when I'm dead. Please explain. Readings do not show the onset of cellular necrosis. It's a figure of speech, Sarah. Do you intend to die before you reach the extraction? No, of course not. It's just something people say. Why? I, I guess it's a macho thing. You know, like a, a guy thing. No, I guess you wouldn't. Personal log. Day 5. These plants might have the answer I'm looking for. The CERA, or CERA as I've come to call it, has scanned over 60 different species so far with no evidence of the enzyme. But I'm hopeful something will turn up. Commander, there is a 1 in 50 chance that the enzyme is present. Wish I had your optimism. It is not optimism, it is a fact. Give it a rest, will you? It was not intended to cause anger, Commander. Is Sarah off? Personal log. Day 9. Sarah's run test after test with only minor traces of the enzyme. I'm running out of time. I'm worried that my supplies may run short, so I've taken to rationing myself with the last of it. Commander, readings indicate elevated blood pressure and blood sugar levels. Is something wrong? I was just thinking about someone. Who, Commander? My wife. What is her name, Commander? Rachel. Her name was Rachel. Was, Commander?
by the Gorvada. She died in my arms. Help! Help! First in luck. Day 13. Sarah had a breakthrough today. While she was scanning sample 89F from grid delta 7, the readings for enzyme A54R spiked. And if these numbers are correct, this could put an end to the Gravata virus. And I've gathered as much of that specific plant as I can carry in my pack and made a note of its location on this planet for further study. Commander, be sure to brush your teeth. A cavity during this mission would be an unwelcome diversion. Sarah, stop doing that. You've told me every day since we've been here. Who programmed your personality? Primary programmer, Dr. Hans Calloway, began coding June 18th, 2348, and completed basic. All right, sir. That's enough. Yes, Commander. Are you malfunctioning? You are about to waste vital resources. Well, by making me swallow my toothpaste? Water is in short supply, Commander. Yeah, you might be right, but I didn't know you could do that. Don't do that again. Affirmative.
Personal log. Day. Uh, day. What day is this? Day 18, Commander. Right. 18. Thank you, Sarah. I'll reach the outpost tomorrow night. Can't wait to be extracted. Also, it'll be nice to have some human contact again for a change. Commander, rations are running dangerously low and may run out before reaching the outpost coordinates. Yeah, I know, Sarah. doing here? A desire for intimacy was detected. What? This feels so real. Or too real. What is it, Commander? Does this appearance not suit your needs? Perhaps longer hair? Or more than one? Maybe Rachel is what you desire. <laughs> what was that? It seemed like something you needed. To relax. Wait, you mean you did that? Like it wasn't just a dream? Was it not... enjoyable? Now what are you doing in my dreams? And like that? How did you know what Rachel looked like? A personnel file and your memories contain some... Wait, what? <laughs> My memories? Commander, readings indicate elevated blood pressure. Was there something wrong with Rachel's recreation? Her recreation? This is mine. This is my mind. You can't just use my memories like that! Time to outpost. 43 hours, Commander. That's good to hear. I'm down to my last two dehydrated mango chicken bars. <laughs> Tasty. Drink some water, Commander. You are showing early signs of dehydration and heat exhaustion. All right. I know when I'm thirsty. Commander, explain your reaction last night. Look, I know you're plugged into my brain, but there's some things, there's some places that are just off limits. Calculations dictated that you needed to reach REM sleep for maximum rest, so... So you invaded my dreams? You molested my mind, Sarah. Commander, the CERA function is to assist you in your mission by any means possible. Does that include virtual wet dreams? No liquid was present in the... Just stay out of my dreams. Commander, it was intended... You know what? I don't trust you. Directive 1 is the well-being of the host, Commander. There is... Commander, you are not certified to make changes to the CERA system. Commander, you have damaged several primary systems. Yeah, I've locked you out. This is not recommended. Without these controls, it Just is- Just deal with it. Sarah, wait. What is it, Commander? Thank you, Commander.
Commander, you are in danger. Commander. Commander, respond. Sarah? I fell, didn't I? An override on your lockout was required in order to save your life. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Where's my pack? It was necessary to reduce your mass in order to pull you to safety. Oh, the cure. Are you all right? No, Commander. No, Commander. Bypassing the lockout damaged an essential sub-processor that is not replaceable at this time. Shutdown is imminent. No, I, I, can, I can fix it. I can fix it. I just need more time. I... No, Commander. Retrieval of the pack is not recommended. Oh, Sarah, I, I need you to reach the outpost. Commander, continue on your present course. Eleven hours. Sarah? Sarah? Personal log. It's day twenty-two. I am. I am.
Hello? Sarah? Sarah, is that you? Commander? Sarah... I thought... How? Using a portion of your hippocampus for data storage, it was possible to make repairs to the external unit and re-establish communication. I shouldn't have tampered with your hardware. It was a mistake. It is understandable, Commander. Spending that time in your deep memory storage was... enlightening. Well, it's time we leave this desolate place, don't you think? Yes, Commander. Ready for transmission.